All right, David Can here with another question from the question bank in topic eight. We're looking at uh, albedo. It's been estimated that doubling the amount of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere will change the albedo by 0 0.01. Using the data, use the data to show that this doubling will lead to a change of about three watts per square meter in the intensity being reflected by the Earth into space. We're given the average intensity of energy received at the Earth from the sun and the average albedo of the Earth. All right, to answer this question, we need to understand what albedo is. It's the fraction of energy received by a surface that gets reflected. So a mirror would have a very high albedo, about one, almost 100%. The Earth's albedo 0.3 is about 30%. About 30% of the energy that the Earth receives from the sun is reflected rather than absorbed. Excuse me. Now the question here is saying that if we double the amount of carbon dioxide, it's going to change the reflectivity, the albedo of the Earth, by 0 0.01. Uh, I guess the, the point of the question is trying to say that, uh, well, look, you know, if we increase the amount of carbon in the atmosphere through you know, fossil fuel emissions, then, uh, yeah, it's going to increase the greenhouse effect, but maybe it will be balanced by an increase in the albedo of the Earth. So we'll trap the energy better, but we'll absorb less of it? Maybe? Well, we'll find out by uh, analyzing the situation. So if we say that the albedo of the Earth goes up by 0 0.01, uh, what we're basically saying is that the, uh, the amount of reflection, the, the Earth's reflectivity goes up by 1%. So if we look at the change in the power that we reflect, that's uh, the original power coming in times that 30%. And that gives us the power that we would reflect normally. We'll take from that the power coming in times the new albedo. And that's that 30% plus an additional 1%. From the algebra here, you can see that p naught times 0.3 and p naught times 0.3 cancel, uh, but just with that 0.3 there, leaving behind p naught times 0 0.01. Yeah, then the negative sign doesn't really work out, but that's okay. It's just a change. The original power is 340, so we want 1% of that, which is 3.3 four watts per square meter. So a change of 1%. Changing the albedo by 0 0.01 causes us to reflect an additional 1% of the incoming light. Uh, is that enough to balance out the greenhouse effect? Well, there's not enough information in this question to say, uh, I would suspect not.